Hey, I'm Simon Chalk, and welcome to Simon Chalk Plays Mad Father, uh, part 7. Now, in part 6, we got stuck, and then we got stuck. Luckily, uh, thanks to a bit of help, we've got a clue of where we're supposed to go now. Well, um, this time anyway. Uh, hold on. I've got all my gems, haven't I? No, I'm pretty sure I saved after I got that other gem. Of course, the problem is, uh... Returning all the way back to where we were. Now that I'm not, uh... Completely sure of the architecture again. This was not the right way, for example. See, I took like two days off playing this. Or, you know, rather, not playing this. And now, I am most definitely paying for that. Because like I said, I don't know where I'm going. It's all tremendously unclear, my memories are like... Unclear. There's you again, sorry about you and your hands, arms. Alright, so the item, sorry about you, the item we have to get is over here. Now, you might remember something about all these rectangular boxes. Namely that we couldn't break them open with a chainsaw. For example, oh wait, this rectangular box is openable. Okay, so maybe I suck at video games, but I don't know, I feel sort of like that's a little shenanigans. But hey, like I said, I suck at video games. Well, now that we've got, uh, we've got the forceps, we can, uh... Now we've uh, picked up the rusty key and we can advance. Which means another room full of... Huh. What? Um... Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not a good thing. Oh, good! This is... Hey, you look like... A dude? Albeit an uncommunicative dude? Uh, I can't get through with that German delay. Anything in here? How about in here? Well, there's a save point, which is pretty good. That's good. This is a good thing that's happening. Do you notice that every... Hold on, that was in no way in the doll's line of sight. I'm calling shenanigans here. 
Avoid getting in the doll's line of sight. Okay, it goes that way, then it goes that way. Alright, then it goes that way. Then it goes that way. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, so it's some sort of vague conical area. Which the game isn't making clear to us because the game hates us and everything is terrible. Oh, that isn't what I need. That is also not what I need. And we've got a thing. Hey, Ace! No! 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 The only time I've seen creepy messed up dolls and uh, not been uh, scared by them being messed up, I mean, I think I'm pretty cool with these dolls being uh, messed up. Alright man, don't kill me alright? Going somewhere, I guess. Hey, you know the front door isn't working, right? Oh, I don't know where he's gone, but maybe he's got his own problems. Oh! And another gem. Anything in here? Nothing! So... Um... Just to make it clear, did we just go through that entire thing just for the sake of two gems? Because I'm not sure I'm happy with that trade. I like... I'm the opposite of happy. Which is... Ipa. Ipah. Ipah. Oh. That's the sound of a door. Shrine, huh? Underground shrines are usually bad news unless they're attached to a church. Or, you know, some other religious, uh, clearly religious building. Cafeteria. Ground cafeterias, also usually bad news. Well, ew.
Hey, that's that's dangerous. Well, um, I think I'm getting the hang of what this game thinks like. So it's got a string attached, right? So okay, it will just cut through the meat, I guess. Got raw ham. Oh heck. Oh heck. Oh no 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 creepy priest creepy priest creepy priest creepy priest I am not one of your flock Lego 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 You have to grip the bone saw just so. So dead set on me liking the mad father. He's mad. You're not gonna get me to like him. He kills people. He pulls crazy experiments on people. He, he, he there's the kidnapping and the murder and the vivisection and okay, okay um I guess we technically haven't seen him vivisecting anybody but. I mean, if you were to hear, okay, also the Mad Father vivisex people, like, would you honestly be surprised? That is, like, and plus, it isn't like vivisection is like the point where you reach your moral event horizon. By the time you've been kidnapping and murdering people, like vivisection or no vivisection, you are probably a douche. There's no like, oh, before I knew you vivisected people, I knew that, uh, huh? Oh hey, it's oh it's you! I remember you were from the beginning of the game, the one that vanished in the attic mysteriously. <laughs> Questions with obvious answers. I can't imagine why. If you can't hate the guy who murders you and performs sick experiments on your body, who can you hate? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Huh. <laughs>
Yes, he has the right idea. Look, even the mad scientists, uh, equally moral, morally, uh, kinky nurse girlfriend wants you to leave. I mean, come on. Oh, that's pretty cool. What did she throw, anyway? Like, she threw that from off-screen. That is a pretty far way to throw to, uh... and be effective, you know? That is... I mean... Ignoring the fact that she's helping the doctor with all these evil experiments, that is... admittedly impressive. And also... Oh, he's gone! Well, good! That guy had the right idea. And because I already tried the front door, and I know I'm not getting out that way... Let's continue with our suicide mission. Oh. Hello. I have this ham. But it is raw. Like, it literally has raw in the description. See, that guy has his head screwed on straight. Even walking corpses don't want raw ham. That's... Alright. That's... a good enough trade, I guess. Of course. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Okay. Oh, it's...
it's you. Oh, it's you. And now I've got two choices. Well, I think this is a pretty good uh, spot to stop for today. So until next time, this is Simon Chalk, signing off. Really, if the front door was unlocked, I would leave, honestly. Like, honest.